Good evening. This is David Jacob speaking from the BBC's television centre in London. Viewers in the United Kingdom will recognise this building, but it'll be less familiar to the 75 million viewers from 17 other European countries who are joining us tonight to watch the Eurovision Song Contest Grand Prix of 1963. This year, 16 nations are taking part in the contest and will present 16 brand new European popular songs. Viewer juries scattered throughout the length and breadth of Western Europe will ultimately cast their votes to decide the winning song. As we move inside the studios, let me assure you that the atmosphere here is tense in the extreme. But this is the occasion of the year in the field of European popular music. In a few seconds, our mistress of ceremonies, Miss Catherine Boyle, will make her entrance and the contest will begin. <laughs> Welcome to the 8th Annual Eurovision Song Contest. As well as to you all in the United Kingdom, welcome to everybody who's watching in no less than 18 different countries in Western Europe. And together we can all join in welcoming the star artists who are here in London tonight to compete for the International Grand Prix of 1963. <laughs> of Luxembourg, Nana Muscuri. Well, we've now met all the artists taking part in the competition. And on this giant scoreboard, you can see the names of the countries taking part in the contest and the title of the song entered by each country. Each song will be sung once only. And after that, we'll ask the national juries in each of the participating countries to cast their votes to decide the best new popular song of 1963. And now it's time for the contest to begin, so I will hand over to the team of international commentators who will each describe the scene to their own national audiences throughout Europe. Just one month ago tonight, the British entry to the contest was chosen, since when both the singer and the song have found success on the hit parade. Eric Robinson conducts the orchestra as they play Norman Newell and Philip Green's composition Say Wonderful Things. And here, we hope to do wonderful things for us in this contest, is the singer who was Britain's representative at Luxembourg last year with Ring-a-Ding Girl, and who is known affectionately to all of us in the studio as the minstrel Ronnie Carroll. The song from Holland is written by Peter Humans, who wrote the winning song of this contest held in Cannes in 1959. His song for 63 is called Un Speldosch, a music box. Op een lente nacht 
En me raakte hem heel voorzichtig aan. De herder en zijn herderinnetje zijn nu voor altijd een paar. En als u dit verhaaltje niet geloven wilt, vraag die veer dan zelf een keertje na. Want die twee zijn nu werkelijk bij elkaar. Heus dit sprookje is and performed by one of Germany's youngest singing stars who, like the composer, has achieved success both in Europe and in America. Ladies and gentlemen, with Willy Birking to conduct the orchestra, it's Miss Heidi Brunn. Marcel, Marcel, das geht mir viel zu schnell. Die Chance hat bei mir, allein ein Kavalier. Tut mir schrecklich leid, ich brauch ein bisschen Zeit. Marcel, vielleicht geschieht ein Wunder und dieses Wunder kann nur die Liebe sein. Doch wenn's kein Wunder gibt, Bleib ich allein Darling, you have made this a wonderful world Let's make every moment together a man Written by Alberto Testa, Giulio Rapetti and Tony Rennis, the flirt confesses his love for Claudia, Nadia, Laura and many others. The singer was recently voted the favourite international artist in America and won the prize for making his Al Di La the most played record of foreign origin. With the orchestra conducted by Gigi Ciccolero, it's with much pleasure that I introduce Emilio Pericoli. Sei quasi fatta per me, dipinta per me, Claudia. Però confesso che tu mi piaci di più, Micia. Di tutte e tutto mi va, la la la. Non so decidermi mai, mi trovo perciò nei guai. Mi penso e vedo cieli senza nuvole e mille 
mandolini carezzano poi apro gli occhi e allora mi accorgo che Brodovi su svećanost i najdraže igračke nestašnih dječaka. Brodovi, bez vas tužme su luke sve, bez vas puste su rive te. Bez vas gale bi mru, dok mjesec kosi noć, na pravcu stiha svog, ja palim sre. Don't go. The title seems to give the mood of the song, a lover not wishing to be parted from her loved one. Switzerland, like Austria, has borrowed a singer from Israel, who in her native country has achieved great fame and is now seeking international success. <laughs> Je 
je pense tout bas, t'en vas pas, t'en vas pas, t'en vas pas, t'en vas pas. Quand je parle trop fort, à travers et à trop, ce n'était pas ma voix, t'en vas pas, t'en vas pas, t'en vas pas, t'en vas pas. Si ton cœur et ton corps se souviennent encore une dernière fois, ne va pas, ne va pas, ne va pas, ne va pas. She was so pretty, in fact, so pretty that I didn't dare love her. I can't forget her. To sing his own composition is a young artist known in his native France by his music as a representative of modern youth, Alain Barrière. The orchestra will be conducted by a good friend of ours in the world of popular music, Franck Pourcel. <laughs> Elle était si jolie que je n'osais l'aimer. Elle était si jolie, je ne peux l'oublier. Elle était trop jolie quand le vent l'emmenait. Elle fuyait ravie et le vent. Alguien que al desesperado un camino indica que le salvará. The light on our map leaves Sweden and appears in Belgium. The song from there is written by Wim Brabant and Hans Flaar and is called Warong. Why? Why would the red rose so sweetly be blushing? Why are the stars winking and twinkling at night? Well, the answer is easily to be found in one word, love. Fladrende vlinders blij, zing het vogelenkoor in de mei. Waarom kunnen wij voor hem zijn? Waarom kent ons hart soms vreugde en pijn?
The singing composer is a quite remarkable young lady who at 18 has crammed more success into a few years than do many people in a lifetime. From fame as a singer-composer, she's now to appear in a starring role in a film written by Françoise Sagan. Let's meet this exceedingly talented young lady called Françoise Hardy. <laughs> Because there's no rule to stop an artist foreign to the competing country singing its song, it will be sung by a star from Athens whose recording of Never on Sunday is only one of her claims to fame. It's with much pleasure that we welcome the delightful Greek singing star Nana Muscori. <laughs> songs in the contest and now to find out which song has won. I hope that all of you at home have already started arguing but official decision has to be made by 16 international juries because the song that wins this contest must be the song with the greatest appeal to Europe as a whole and it'll take a few minutes for the juries to cast their votes so while we're waiting you can watch a speciality act. It's certainly new to viewers in the United Kingdom. They come from Sweden and it's my great pleasure to introduce Ola and Barbro. <laughs> national juries and are ready. But before we call on the first chairman to declare the votes of his national jury, let me explain very briefly the system of voting so that you can follow it on the scoreboard. Each national jury will award five votes to the song it considers to be the best, four votes to the second best, three votes to the third, two votes to the fourth best, and one vote to the fifth. Of course, no national jury is allowed to vote for the song entered by its own country. Now, you'll be able to follow the voting procedure quite easily on the scoreboard. You will hear each jury chairman call out first the number of the song. 
then the country of origin, and finally the number of votes awarded to each song. Now, if by any chance a jury doesn't answer when I call, then I'll move on to the next jury and come back to them at the end. And if all else fails, on the other end of this telephone, there is a Eurovision official, and he will be able to, he will be able to contact the countries, and they'll be double-checking on the votes as they are recorded on the board as well. So, without further ado, let's call on the first jury, which is the United Kingdom. Hello, London. May I have your votes, please? Hello, Catherine. This is London, and here are the votes of the United Kingdom jury. Song number four, Austria, four votes. Song number six, Italy, two votes. Song number eight, Denmark, three votes. Song number ten, Switzerland, five votes. Song number fifteen, Monaco, one vote. And that concludes the vote of the United Kingdom jury. Thank you very much, London. And well, now we go on to the Netherlands. The next jury to vote is Bussum. May I have your votes, please? Hello, London. This is Bussum. Here are the votes of the Dutch jury. Song number one, United Kingdom, three votes. Song number six, Italy, one vote. Song number eight, Denmark, five votes. Song number eleven, France, four votes. Song number fifteen, Monaco, two votes. Thank you. And that completes the vote of the Dutch jury. Thank you very much, Bussum. And the next jury is Germany. Hello, Frankfurt. Your vote, please. Hello, London. This is Frankfurt. And here are the votes of the German jury. Song number eight, Denmark, two votes. Song number ten, Switzerland, four votes. Song number eleven, France, one vote. Song number fifteen, Monaco, five votes. Song number sixteen, Luxembourg, three votes. And that completes the vote of the German jury. Thank you very much, Frankfurt. We'll go on then to Austria. Hello, Vienna. May I have your votes now, please? Hello, London. This is Vienna, and here are the votes of the Austrian jury. Song number eight, Denmark, three votes. Song number ten, Switzerland, five votes. Song number 11, France, two votes. Song number 14, Belgium, four votes. And song number 15, Monaco, one vote. And that completes the voting of the Austrian jury. Thank you very much, Vienna. Well, at the moment, it seems to be between Switzerland and Denmark. Let's go straight on to Norway. Hello, Oslo. May I have your vote, please? Hello, hello, London. This is Oslo. Here are the votes of the Norwegian jury. Song number one, England, five votes. Song number two, Italy, four votes. Song number three, Switzerland, three votes. Song number four, Denmark, two votes. Song number three, Germany, one vote. And that completes the vote of the Norwegian jury. Well, hold on, Norway. Hold on, Oslo. Just one moment. I'm afraid I shall have to give, ask you to give those votes all over again because first you have to give the number on the board, then the number of the name of the country. I don't think we did quite do that. Would you do it just again, please? All your votes, starting from number whatever it is. One song. I don't know what number Hello, on the board. Hello, London. Can you come back to Oslo? Oslo, may I come back afterwards to Oslo? Right. Yes, please. Then at the moment we will go on to Italy. Hello, Rome. May I have your vote, please? Hello, Londres. Ici, Rome. Voici les votes du jury italien. Chanson numéro 8, Danemark, deux votes. Chanson numéro 10, Suisse, cinq votes. 
Chanson numéro 11, France, 4 votes. Chanson numéro 15, Monaco, 3 votes. Chanson numéro 16, Luxembourg, 1 vote. Et ceci termine le vote du jury italien. Merci, Ron. Well, Switzerland is in a very clear lead. We'll go straight on to Finland. Helsinki, may I have your votes, please? Hello, London. This is Helsinki. Here are the votes of the Finnish jury. Song number one, United Kingdom, three votes. Song number four, Austria, four votes. Song number six, Italy, two votes. Song number eight, Denmark, five votes. And song number 16, Luxembourg, one vote. And that completes the vote of the Finnish jury. Thank you, London, and good night. Thank you very much, Helsinki. Good night to you. Well, very much Denmark and Switzerland leading at the moment. Let's go straight on to Denmark. Copenhagen, please come in. May I have your vote, please? Hello, London. This is wonderful Copenhagen. Here are the uh -huh. votes of the Danish jury. <laughs> Song number one, United Kingdom, three votes. Song number four, Austria, one vote. Song number six, Italy, five votes. Song number 10, Switzerland, four votes. And song number 16, Luxembourg, two votes. And that completes the votes of the Danish jury. Thank you very much, Copenhagen. Well, you've put your closest rival into the lead by 26. We go on to Belgrade. Hello, Belgrade, Yugoslavia. May I have your vote, please? Hello, London. This is Belgrade. Here are the votes of the Yugoslav jury. Song number one. United Kingdom, three votes. Song number six, Italy, four votes. Song number 11, France, five votes. Song number 12, Spain. Two votes. Song number 15, Monaco, one vote. That completes the vote of the Yugoslav jury. Thank you. Thank you very much, Belgrade. Well, let's get straight on to Switzerland. Hello, Zurich. May I have your vote, please? Hello, Londres. Ici, Zurich. Voici les votes du jury suisse. Chanson numéro 6, Italy. Cinq points. Chanson numéro 8, Danemark, 3 points. Chanson numéro 11, France, 4 points. Chanson numéro 15, Monaco, 1 point. Et chanson numéro 16, Luxembourg, deux points. Ceci termine le vote du jury suisse. Bonsoir, Londres. Bonsoir, merci, jury. And uh, Italy and France have certainly joined the race, so go on to France itself. Hello, Paris. May I have your vote, please? Ici, Paris. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, Londres. Bonsoir. Voici les votes du jury français. Chanson numéro 1, Royaume-Uni. Trois voix. Chanson numéro 4, Autriche, deux voix. Chanson numéro 9, Yougoslavie, une voix. Chanson numéro 15, Monaco, cinq voix. Chanson numéro 16, Luxembourg, quatre voix.
Ceci termine le vote du jury français. Au revoir, Londres. Au revoir, merci, Paris. Well, the race is definitely between Switzerland and Denmark, with Italy and uh, France coming up closely. Oh, United Kingdom there too. No, not lose hope yet. Let's go straight on to Spain. Hello, Madrid. May I have your vote, please? Hello, London. This is Madrid, and here are the votes of the Spanish jury. Uh, song number one, United Kingdom, five votes. Song number ten, Switzerland, four votes. Song number six, Italy, three votes. Song number nine, Yugoslavia, two votes. And song number 11, France, one vote. Thank you. That completes the vote of the Spanish jury. Thank you very much, Madrid. Let's go straight on to Sweden. Hello, Stockholm. May I have your vote, please? Hello, London. This is Stockholm. Here are the votes of the Swedish jury. Song number one, United Kingdom, two votes. Song number four, Austria, three votes. Song number eight, Denmark, five votes. Song number 10, Switzerland, one vote. Oh. Song number 15, Monaco, four votes. And that completes the vote of the Swedish jury. Thank you very much, Stockholm. Well, Switzerland 31, Denmark 30, you can see for yourself. Let's go straight on to Brussels. Hello, Brussels. May I have your vote, please? Hello, Londres. Ici, Bruxelles. Voici les votes du jury belge. Chanson numéro 4, Autriche, deux votes. Chanson numéro 6, Italie, trois votes. Chanson numéro 8, Danemark, cinq votes. Chanson numéro 10, Suisse, quatre votes. Chanson numéro 11, France, un vote. Et ceci termine le vote du jury belge. Good night, London. Merci, Bruxelles. Bonne nuit. Et alors, let's go straight on to Monaco. Hello, Monte Carlo. May I have your vote, please? Allô, Londres. Ici, Monaco. Voici le vote du jury monégasque. Chanson numéro 1. Royaume-Uni, un point. Chanson numéro 3. Allemagne, trois points. Chanson numéro 6, Italie, 5 points. Chanson numéro 10, Suisse, 4 points. Chanson numéro 11, France, 2 points. Chanson numéro... Ah, je m'excuse. Numéro 16, 1 point. Merci, Mon Merci. Ceci termine le vote du jury monégasque. <laughs> Merci, Monaco. Well, Switzerland still in the lead. Let's go to Luxembourg. Hello, Luxembourg. May I have your vote, please? Hello, London. This is Luxembourg. Here are the votes of the Luxembourg jury. Song number six, Italy. Four votes. Song number eight, Denmark, five votes. Song number ten, Switzerland, three votes. Song number eleven, France, one vote. Song number fifteen, Monaco, two votes. And that completes the vote of the Luxembourg jury. Thank you, London. Thank you very much, Luxembourg. Well, now we have to go back to Norway for a very decisive vote. Oslo, would you please come in and repeat your vote, please? Yes, hello, London. This is Oslo. Here are the votes of the Norwegian jury. Song number one, England, five votes. Song 
number three, Germany, two votes. Song number six, Italy, three votes. Song number eight, Denmark, four votes. Song number ten, Switzerland, one vote. And that completes the vote of the Norwegian jury. 43. I thank you very much, Oslo. I think all the votes are in, but they're not quite up right. Hello? I see. I'm very sorry. Right. I'm afraid I shall have to ask Monaco to come back onto the line because they gave one vote too much. So, may I have the votes back? Yes, the suspension is absolutely terrible. May I have the votes of Monaco back, please? Can you hear me? Oui. Voilà. Vous y êtes. They are on the line. I can hear them on the line. I can hear them already on the line. On. Oui, allô Oui Allô, ici Monaco. Voici le vote du jury monégasque. Royaume-Uni, un point. Allemagne, trois points. Italie, cinq points. Suisse, quatre points. Et France, deux points. Et ça, c'est juste There's the telephone again. Hello? So that is the final result. Right. Well, as you can see, all the votes are in, and the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest Grand Prix is Denmark, with the song Dance of Visa. Which one? with the song Dance Visa, which was awarded 42 votes. Edi Yoli, i Dedi Gorki, per prima di Adisi. Edi Yoli, Dedi Gorki, per prima di Adisi. present uh, the awards to the singer, to the author, and the composer. The winning song is the controller of programs of the BBC television service, Mr. Stuart Hood. <laughs> The first award goes to the singers of the prize-winning song, Greta and Jürgen Ingmann. The second award goes to the author and composer of the prize-winning song, the Sir Volner Sørensen and Otto Franke.
they are not here to receive the prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with particular pleasure that we in BBC television have played host this year to all the artists who have gathered in London tonight to compete in the Eurovision Song Contest. It is a wonderful thought, and for me at this moment at least a rather frightening one, that from this studio for the last hour, music and pictures have been crossing Europe to places as far apart as Helsinki, Madrid, Palermo, Belgrade, Paris and Berlin. I wonder how many of you were thinking as I was, watching the show, of the miracle which has carried this program across seas and mountains and forests, of what it has all meant in terms of human skill, ingenuity and inventiveness. Perhaps like me, you too have been happy to think that for once we were able to enjoy the achievements of modern science without that chill of fear which so often accompanies the miracles of technology today. May I, on behalf of the BBC, say that we hope that you have enjoyed the contest, and may I, on your behalf, thank all who have taken part in it, and hope that what has been done tonight may be repeated with other programmes on other occasions. Bonsoir, Europe. Good night, Europe, and leave you to listen to the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest, the Danish song Dance Visa, sung by Greta and Jorgen Ingmann. Come again, come again. 